Hello there, and welcome back to another Minecraft challenge. As this is likely to be the last challenge created for 1.19, we thought the challenge should celebrate what 119 was all about, which is the deep dark. Today's challenge is called Living in Darkness. Or, Hello Darkness, my old friend. The challenge is to find and play a music disc inside an ancient city. Now, the setup for this challenge is a bit more manual than usual, but it's not as bad as it seems when you see it in writing. Now, as you can see, we used the locate command to find the city and teleported to it using NEG21 for the Y coordinate. The NEG21 is important. Without it, you will teleport to some empty cave well above the city. Once you're at the city, Find the candle lit side of the not a portal thing in the city and drop down to the ground. Now that we are in the city, switch your game mode to survival. Give yourself the night vision effect, and I'll address that in a minute. Set your spawn point in case you die, and issue a game time query command to see how long it took you to complete the setup. Whatever this number is will be deducted from your total time when you complete the challenge. This way you're not penalized for taking your time getting everything set up. Now if you're not familiar with the ancient city and how everything works down here, then remember that sneaking is your friend. Setting off a few skulk sensors will be okay, but it's a bad, bad thing to set off a lot of shriekers. You'll know when you set off a shrieker. They shriek. Now I got lucky there that one side was clear of skulk. It's a good sign that you're safe to jump or not sneak if there's no skulk infecting the walls and floor. It's not foolproof, but usually no skulk means no shrieker. The other direction had a shrieker. That would have been bad. As far as this challenge goes, though, our first task is to get wood. We're going to need at least a pick, and at some point, we're going to need an iron pick to mine the diamonds we need to make a jukebox. Okay, so let's address the use of night vision in this challenge. The name of the challenge is Living in Darkness, but then I essentially turned the lights on. The reality here is, night vision isn't really in the spirit of the challenge, but I also have to acknowledge that I am making a video. And a video where you're straining your eyes to try and make out what's going on is not entertaining for anyone to watch. You can always brighten the footage afterwards, but it always comes out looking very poor and grainy, and we just didn't want to have to deal with that. So, to compensate a bit for having night vision, I've turned off my resource pack that highlights ores so they are easier for me to see, and I also won't be using any mod to help me see things better like Zoom or FreeCam. Sometimes in life you just have to compromise, and we felt this was the best way to go. So all that aside, let's get back to the challenge itself. Remember, I still need to find wood. Maybe we can get this wood here, but I, I really don't think it's going to be a good idea, but let's give it a try. Well, that's not good. Okay, that blindness effect is coming from the warden waking up. We can set off three shriekers and never see a warden. It's that fourth shrieker we have to worry about. Right now, I'm not sneaking as much as I could be, but... That's because I can still set off two more and not have to worry. Once I set off that third one, I, I'll be sneaking everywhere. Okay, there's another shrieker over there, so I'm going to turn left here. And I do believe I see some wood over there. Those wooden towers are usually shrieker-free, but we'll have to see what it looks like around the base of the tower. Oh! 
heard a sensor, but uh, there doesn't seem to be any shriekers going off, so I think we're golden. Okay, so what all do we need to finish this challenge? We need enough wood to make a wooden pick, a stone pick, an iron pick, a crafting table, and a jukebox. So, all told, I think that's roughly 19 or 20 planks of wood. We'll also need to go mine some deep slate to make the stone pick, then find some iron, so we'll need to mine some more deep slate to make a furnace, and then find a diamond somewhere around here. And then, find any music disc we can within the ancient city. Once we have all that, we place the jukebox and we play the music disc. Easy peasy. Ah, crap. How the heck did the first two blocks broken not set off a shrieker, but the third one did? What kind of luck is that? Ah well, it's only the second time I set up a shrieker, so we're still good. I'll just mine away from that shrieker, and hopefully we won't run into another one. What's life without a few risks, right? And while I'm at it, I think I'm going to craft an axe and a hoe just to be on the safe side. All right, we're all tooled up, so time to get out of here. You can file that under Don't See That Every Day. And while I'm sneaking around like this, I'm going to be speeding the footage up a little because, you know, it's super exciting to watch someone walk slowly somewhere. And I do believe I saw a chest behind this wall, so... I think we're safe to break this wall down. Meant to do that. All right, let's try that again. All right, I, yep, there's the chest. So let's, yeah, let's get this out of the way. Let's see what we found. Well, no music disc, but can't go wrong with some armor, and I can definitely use a diamond hoe. And I will need some gold to smelt that iron later on, so I guess this will do. Just really wish I'd found a music disc. And might as well drink this potion and heal up now. Take that, Skulk Sensor. Now we still need to find three iron to make the pick, a diamond to make the jukebox, and a music disc to play. But there's not a whole lot of reason to check these heavily skulked areas like this. There's always going to be a shrieker in these areas. But this looks promising. The area's bare enough of skulk that it's not likely we're going to set off a shrieker. It's never 100%, but this is a good bet we'll be safe. Ah, well, no joy here either, but we did find a second set of pants, but... Oh, those are horrible. Now, if memory serves... This tower structure should have a chest at the very top. The only question is, does it have a shrieker up there as well? Let's find out. Okay, the hard part is now out of the way. As difficult as iron or diamond can be to find sometimes, finding a music disc is really where all the danger is at. Quite a lot of the chests down here have shriekers nearby. I was thinking about jumping into that water, but I can't be 100% sure there isn't a shrieker nearby. But, that said, I am thinking of using the waterfall to get up to that higher level. Why, you may ask? I don't know if you saw it, but when I opened that chest earlier, right behind it, on the wall, was iron. So the plan is to get up to this higher level and dig down to the iron I saw. There, there, you can see the iron right there. So let me get over there and get that iron. Or I guess I'll take this iron. 
I mean, I guess you could argue that maybe this iron isn't technically inside the ancient city, but the iron on the wall was definitely fair game, and the only difference between this iron and that iron is me digging down five or six blocks, so I'm just going to say this is fine. So now that we have the iron, the only thing left to find is a diamond. I've had a few runs at this challenge, and diamonds are hit or miss. Either you see them everywhere you go, or you couldn't find a diamond to save your life. We haven't journeyed all that far in this city, so I'm sure our luck will hold out, but fingers crossed, because they can be the one thing that turns this run from a sprint to a marathon. All right, let's get back down to the floor. Geronimo! Oh yeah, Skulk Sensor? Oh yeah? Well, well take that! That's what I think of you, Skulk Sensor. Oh, well hello there, Iron. I don't need you anymore, but thanks for showing up. You know, I, I just had an idea. Um, maybe this will be genius, or maybe it'll be a fool's errand. I'm thinking that I could wander around and hope for a diamond to appear, but there's a lot of landscape down here covered in Skulk. Maybe all the diamonds are hiding under the Skulk. Now that I have this diamond hoe, maybe the way to go is break all the skulk blocks and see what's hiding underneath. Let's find out. Well, if nothing else, it makes a pretty satisfying sound. Just have to be careful of shriekers. One thing I've learned about Shriekers that has proven helpful on the other runs I did is if you only see one Shrieker in the area, sneak up to the Shrieker and just break it. If it's the only Shrieker in the area, you're good, and all those little skulk sensors can twitter away to their little heart's content, and the Warden will never hear them. That said, there might be a second hidden Shrieker in the area, so it's always a bit of a gamble, but usually the Shriekers are right out in the open for you to see. Diamonds! Oh, I can't tell you how satisfying it is to have that idea pan out. There you have it. Proof there can be a little reward for a little risk. Now let's pop that disc in there and declare this challenge over and done. Now if that's not a jam that just reaches down into your very soul and makes you tap your foot, then I don't know what will. And there you have it, my friends. The end time was 17,022. And the starting time was 1,793. We subtract the one from the other and get our final challenge time of, uh, something, um, uh, looks like it's 15,929 ticks. Or roughly 13 and a half minutes. Now, if you want to give the challenge a try, all the details are listed in the description below. Like I said at the beginning, it's a little more manual to get everything started than I, than I like to have challenges, but it's not that bad once you've done it once or twice. But, that said, we can't really end the video until we get the warden out here and see if he likes the music. But while we wait to see if he's a fan of music or not, I just want to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. This was definitely an interesting one and a fitting challenge to celebrate 119 with. If you did like the video or, or like challenge videos in general, then check out the Discord and join in on the fun. Until next time, I have been Gregor and this has been Minecraft Challenges. Wherever you are or whatever you're doing, always try and find a way to make it fun. See ya!